Hello everyone, you are watching me on Tech with Yellow. Smart TVs, they are the current transition similar to how we change from feature phones to smartphones. A smart TV can perform tasks such as downloading and streaming content from the internet directly, which we usually do from our mobile phones and laptops. Watching on a bigger screen is always a pleasure now that we miss theatres during the COVID-19 pandemic. Capabilities of smart TVs does not stop there. If we get the right smart TV, we can run every single app on that too. How cool is that? If you ask me the price of a smart TV 4 years ago, my reaction would have been, forget it bro, they are too expensive and worthless for the price. Things have changed now. This is the perfect time to switch to a smart TV for prices as low as never before. Enough speaking. Let's unbox the Mi Box 4K. This is the Mi Box 4K. It's a 4K Android streaming device and comes with Chromecast built-in. These are few of the various supported streaming services that comes with the box. The box includes the Mi Box 4K, a Bluetooth remote, HDMI cable and power adapter. This device is powered by a 64-bit Cortex-A53 based quad-core processor with a clock speed of 2.0 GHz. Mali 450 handles the graphics. The Mi Box 4K comes with 2 gigs of RAM and 8 GB of storage, which is actually more than enough. 12,000 and 15,000 segment TVs are shipped with just 1 gigabit of RAM, so this is a much better option. This is a stock Android TV box. This side has the setup instructions. Pretty simple. Plug in the HDMI cable and power adapter and connect the HDMI to your TV. This is the Mi Box 4K, a palm sized powerhouse. Further moving inside the box, we have a Bluetooth remote. Now notice, this is a Bluetooth remote, not the IR one. You can position this anywhere, even in another room and it still works provided it's in the Bluetooth range. Next up, we have the power adapter and user manual. My package does not have the HDMI cable, but you'll have one inside your box. This remote is a standard one with the back, home and all apps button, D-pad, power and volume control buttons and a dedicated Google Assistant button. Netflix and Amazon Prime have their dedicated keys too. It's mandatory for remotes to be shipped with those in order to have Netflix and Prime service. Xiaomi has reduced the quality of this remote for cost cutting. Earlier Mi TV remotes have better plastic than this one. I like the subtle Mi branding. This is how branding should be done. Two AAA batteries have to be inserted and this remote does not come with the batteries. Mi Box comes with ports including an audio port for home speaker systems, HDMI port, one USB port to increase the inbuilt 8GB storage and the power port. With that we have to end our unboxing. Subscribe to Tech with Yellow so that you don't miss the upcoming unboxing videos. The Mi Box 4K comes with stock Android which means you can directly install apps from the Play Store and also from the APK files. The Mi Box 4K supports up to 4K in UHD resolution so that you can watch your content in lifelike clarity. Setting up the Mi Box 4K is a breeze. Remote has to be paired with the Mi Box and to do this, just press the home and back button together until you hear a beep. Then follow the on-screen instructions, sign into your Wi-Fi or mobile hotspot and I highly recommend that you have a Wi-Fi connection in order to use this Mi Box. Sign up with your mail ID, install updates and you're in. Pretty simple right? Now let's see what you can watch on this Mi Box. Launching the TV post setup, we are greeted with the home screen where contents from your installed apps are displayed. Apps can be opened from here. I have installed some apps from the Play Store and let's check them out. Here's the Disney Plus Hotstar. Some contents require subscription to be viewed in Hotstar. Next up, opening the Sun Next app. Now this is one of the best value subscriptions out there. For just 50 rupees, every possible Sun Network content, including Live TV. Multiple devices can be signed in and used at the same time. You can control your TV contact free using the Google Assistant on your mobile phone. Like this. Play MKBHD's video on my living room TV. Okay, playing MKBHD from YouTube on living room TV. And it works every single time. By the way, I love this guy. He's Marcus Brownlee, a successful tech YouTuber with 10 million subscribers. And then there's me with 47 subscribers. Lol, just kidding. Under the settings, there is this apps tab where you can perform app management actions such as uninstalling them as you do on your phone. 
Next up is the TV Explorer, a file manager. This one is very pleasing with its user interface. You can read PDF books with this file manager now that e-learning has become inevitable. Apps can be installed directly from the Play Store. Web browsing is possible in this Android box. I use Puffin browser and it works seamlessly. You can directly join Google Meet or Zoom meetings for your online class by pairing a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi camera. Next up is another file manager, File Command here. This one can perform tasks like installing apps from APKs and deleting files which TV Explorer cannot. To install an app with its APK file, just head to the file, options and install it with the package installer. Now one concern in switching to smart TVs is that you will miss your regular DTH cable channels. But don't worry, I've got you covered. You can watch regular TV in the smart TV with just one trick. Install the sideload launcher from Play Store and install GeoTV from my APK link in the description. It's important that you use the same file in description or else GeoTV might not work. After installing, open GeoTV from sideload launcher. This orientation issue will only be there when you try to sign in. Sign in with your Geo ID and password and start enjoying DTH channels in Smart TV. That's pretty much everything you'd require to fully utilize a Smart TV. Apart from regular TV channels, you can also watch from streaming services. Or else, simply download content or stream content directly from your mobile device to the TV. One bonus app, Air Console. Now this app lets you play multiplayer games such as car racing with your family by using your mobile phones as joystick. Simply install the app from Play Store to your TV and your mobile phones and start playing. And also, I recommend installing Android TV remote application into your smartphone because typing on a smart TV is a nightmare. The Mi Box 4K is priced at 3500 rupees and it is the best possible price. Amazon Fire Stick, which comes without stock Android, is priced 1000 rupees more for rupees 4500. And the starting range of smart TVs is at 12000 rupees. There is an unreleased cheaper alternative for this Mi Box 4K. Stay tuned in Technic Yellow and we'll unbox it together. If you are worried whether smart TV transition will affect your TV viewing experience, Trust me, it will be a worthy upgrade and you won't regret it. That brings us to the end of this video. Hit the like button and subscribe if you liked it. Share the video if you loved it. Bye-bye.